work is uh, I'm a fitness coach and a personal trainer. My, what is my best attribute? I would have to say is my uh, commitment to everything that, um, when I find something that I wanna do, I'm committed to it, whether it's with my work, friendship, relationships, um, and anything that uh, I feel is serving me. So I'm just committed. That is a big attribute for myself. What do I wish people would stop asking me is if I've had any um, uh, surgeries done for my body. Instead of all the hard work that I do just working out, they think because that's the thing now that everybody's getting all the surgeries and the makeovers that I've had lipo or I've had uh, butt enhancements um, and stuff like that. So that is one thing I wish, please stop asking because no, not anything has ever been touched or done. What am I completely over and done with? I'm completely over and done with everybody's opinions with what is going on in the world, uh, whether it's well, mostly related to COVID. Everybody has their opinions um, on how people should act and live and be and to take care of themselves. And everybody feels like their opinion is the right opinion instead of just doing what works for them. So I'm completely over it. What is the worst thing about being a female? Um, oh, that is a hard one. Um, the worst thing about being a female is maybe the expectations of how a female is supposed to be and to act and to behave or uh, just because you're a female, you're supposed to just do certain things. And I mean, at, in 2021, no, that is not, that is not the expectations anymore. Everybody has accent is a certain way. It's not the old traditional things. Um, so yes, that's <laughs> the best thing about being a female is um, just the strength that women have and um, the nurturing and how we can just take any situation and make the best of it. And um, no matter with the least amount or the most amount of things, we figure it out. And I think that's just a natural thing for being a woman. Um, who has had the biggest impact on my life? I would have to uh, easily say my father. Um, he is the reason that I'm in California. He's the reason why I have the strength that I do. He's the one that has supported everything from the beginning, whether it could have been, uh, Dad, I want to start a crayon line. He's like, okay, well, let's figure out how we're going to start these crayon lines and we're going to just, it's going to be the best crayons ever. You know, it's just, he's just the best support system I had. And, you know, my dad passed away. Now it's been five years. So, um, but I still, keep moving as if he's right there, you know, saying keep pushing and sticking to it and creating something great for myself. My biggest challenge in life is being so far away from my family. Um, I'm from Wisconsin, so they, my mom doesn't fly. Um, she's flown maybe twice in the 20 years that I've been here. So having to, I have that, I don't have that outlet it's just me. I mean, I have my friends and of course they support, but it's nothing like having your family support. So that is a challenge every single day and missing out on what's going on because I can't be there all the time. But, um, you know, I figure it out and I'll, I'll work it out, but that is a, a definite challenge. Um, what word best describes me is loyal. Um, and I say loyal just because I'm, I'm such a caring and sensitive and sympathetic, all those things, person. So um, if I trust you, I'm gonna be loyal to you, I'm gonna deal with you. And that, it goes to anything, whether it's my um, person that does my facials. If you do good facials, I'm gonna come to you for the rest of my life until you retire. Or if you're the nail lady, I'm gonna come to you forever until you no longer doing nails, but just loyal with everything and people that are involved in my life. Um, and I expect the same for those that I deal with, so. What word best describes 
my view of the world right now, um, I would have to say um, chaotic, maybe. It's just, it's so much going on like every single day. If you don't turn on the news, you're gonna hear it on social media. If you don't turn on social media, it's gonna come across your phone. If you don't check your phone, you're gonna hear it from somebody. Um, it's just a lot of chaos going on. And it's a reason for it all, and not everybody will understand it, but yes, chaotic is definitely what's going on right now. Um, I, do I see an optimistic future for our country? I do, but not right away. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some time. Um, a lot of changes that needed to happen a long time ago, and everything is just boiled over. So now everything needs to be fixed and brought back. But hopefully it can come out and we can come back better than we were before. But it's going to take, it's going to take some time, a lot of people trusting again. And, and what's one of the hardest things to get back from people is their trust. When I hear the word in fuego, um, strength and fire and heat and just strong uh, comes to mind when I hear in fuego. My idea of the perfect mate is someone that is strong, um, is funny, uh, compassionate, loving, supportive, um, someone that I can feel safe and protected by. And someone almost, I, I wanna say, no, I'm gonna say kinda like father-like father -like qualities, you know, because, you know, my dad was my protector and, and, and my person that cared for me, and that's what I'm looking for in my mate, that, that strength and to feel safe and just, just goodness. If I had to choose between two things, would I pick security or love? Okay. Um, that is really, really hard. Um, but I would have to, at this point in my life, I would have to say security because um, Love can end, uh, you know, people fall out of love, but if I'm secure, I can go find some more love again at, you know, at a later time. But security, for sure, I would have to pick that. And um, that's my answer and I'm sticking with it. Nah. <laughs> have I ever stolen anything? Yes, I have. Um, I stole some candy when I was a kid and, um, I feel bad still when I think about that candy that I stole as a kid from the neighborhood store who looked out for me and my family and always gave us stuff for free, but I just felt the need that I wanted that candy so bad. And I took it, and I took a lot of it, and I haven't forgot about it. <laughs> the biggest lesson that life has taught me is um, to take care of yourself to worry about yourself first, because if you're no good, you can't be any good to anyone else. Um, and that is the real truth. Um, and really going through 2020 and the whole pandemic, you really had to learn, like it was either fight or flight. So, um, and I'm getting better with putting myself first and self-care and all that type of stuff.